How's it going, Hammered? Sometimes it takes me a while to get back to people. Sometimes that while is years. Uh, but I'm getting back to you now. And actually, you asked me a question, but what I was more, uh, more what I caught on more to your video, you asked me about uh, how my mind works. Well, it works in mysterious ways. Uh, you said something though in your video that caught on to. I was being stalked by a bird earlier, and I thought that might have been him. Um, you said something about uh, someone giving you the advice, offering up that uh, you should think about work, think about producing. Because um, your mind's probably going all sorts of different places, you know? It's probably, uh, you probably have uh, a custom pathways of creativity going a lot of the times. Like, you're thinking about uh, expressing yourself through artwork or through writing. Or uh, you know through your imagination, and you want it to go as much as you can, and and follow all the paths and trails that it discovers. So if someone says something to you, uh, you just need to focus on work. Just need to focus on producing, uh, being productive. Um, in my mind, I, I I heard that, and I thought of uh, two different people. I thought of somebody wanting to give you. Uh, a kind of a, a work ethic mindset for your life. You know, you need to uh, work hard, uh, provide for yourself, uh, invest appropriately, you know, buy a home, uh, buy a vehicle, have a retirement set aside. Um, and then when you have a very secure life, you could then very carefully add some hobbies and some expressions, maybe take a vacation, that kind of thing. So someone's trying to give you some sort of life outlook. The other person that came to my mind that might say that to you is like a coworker. The kind of coworker that goes to work, our supervisor, manager, owner, uh, goes to work and just kind of shuts down, has a game face, um, becomes that person, becomes an employee or becomes a worker. And anything that dis distracts from that, anything that distracts from their, their focus, uh, anything other than getting a job done. I remember at one point in time my job was uh, uh, to speak. And uh, while I was speaking, I, uh, I had a, a rope in my hand and I tied a, uh, a knot called a monkey's fist, which is uh, a kind of complex little uh, ball that you would, uh, uh, mariners would tie around a rock and then throw that line to the dock. Someone would catch it. You could drop the rock out. And tie it off, or pull the main line, pull the uh, the larger rope uh, to shore to tie it off. Um, and I held it up and kind of admired it while I was speaking. And my boss saw this and was so angered that even though my job was to speak, that my hands did something that wasn't work related. Um, he brought over a series of uh, of old files and told me to uh, to put them in numerical order for uh, for filing. So yeah, so what I learned from that is that uh, if you want things to go smooth at work, um, you, you, you almost have to uh, um, just not share those things with people. Like I could still let my mind travel, um, but I don't need to, I don't need to say anything. Um, Unless, especially around people that uh, haven't opened up that door. Like if someone comes and talks to me about uh, their love of comic books or movies or, or writing or knots, then I'll, I'll, I'll talk to them. But if someone is around that isn't like that, I just shut it down. Because mostly I want things to go smoothly. And uh, for me, uh, work is actually something just to get out of the way. So actually I can go out and be creative. Um, go do uh, like woodworking projects I love to do, uh, work on sewing, um, I love crafting stuff. Uh, I love uh, going out for hikes as you see and taking my dog and uh, when I'm out sometimes I find things that I think I'd like to turn this into some kind of art or something usable. Uh, so that's where I do most of my expression and, um, but as far, and, and work as a, as, as a goal, as, as a primary focus. It's absolutely not my way. Um, for me, work is just um, a, tiny, a tiny little safety net 
Um, I, I, look, I look at people who think it's something more than that, um, that it's like a lifetime pursuit. And I guess for some people it can be. But I think for a lot of people that's, it's kind of a dream. Um, like the idea of having a company provide a retirement for you or uh, you know, retiring early with a gold watch and a firm handshake from your supervisor. They don't make them like you anymore, do they, Hammered? Fare thee well. I, I hear you're traveling the Mediterra Mediterranean for the next three years in a sailboat you purchased off your last bonus. Well done. Well, it's not like that. Chances are you're going to retire from your career and have to look around for a part-time job greeting people at the supermarket and making sure they don't shoplift. Uh, well, very briefly, how my mind works. I think it works like a river that uh, comes from a dam, and the dam is the, uh, the barrier I try to build up um, my boundary between me and everything else. And everything I let through there, or anything that forces its way through there, uh, then rushes through uh, the valley, the river of Earl, the valley of Earl. And uh, if some, a lot of stuff comes pouring through, it stirs up stuff on the bottom of my river, and I'll focus on that river, and I'll see where things get stirred up, and I'll think about that. And it might be something that uh, might be like a creative idea of like I've thought about something long a lot about how to build a certain thing, and then I'll get some new information, some new excitement, something new will make it through the dam. And I'm like, oh, I got a new way, or uh, something will stir up old thing from my past that'll upset me. And I think I need to give more this more attention. Uh, so that it fits firmly into the sediment of my mind. And uh, if more, if more, that way if something upsetting happens, I could just deal with the upsetting thing that's happening rather than have to deal with an upsetting thing in front of me in my present and future and have also have to worry about upsetting things in my past coming up behind me and saying, Oh, we haven't forgot about you. <laughs> All right, Hammered. I'll see you in the tubes.